Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate that you guys keep coming back. I'm out here alone today. We're going to do some early morning fishing. It's hot. Day before a tournament. But I'm just out here. My birthday's tomorrow. And I'm just here to enjoy the day. Throw some big baits, as you can see. And hopefully, I can stick a big one. And then, as the sun comes up, we're going to get on some deep ledges and see if we can get them doing some finesse fishing. Oh my god! That was a good one on the Cinco. Oh my god, it was barely hooked, you guys. Wow! Oh, big one, guys. Big one. Big one. Oh, a big one. Oh, here she comes. I'll keep it down. Oh, she's got grass on her. Oh, yes. 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 Giant, dude. Holy moly, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Oh, man. Oh, you freaking ate that thing. Boom! There it is, guys. That boy and bass. Boom! We're in the light well. Get some measurements. Get her weighed. Let's see what she weighs. Let's see what she weighs. She's a big Oh, yeah. Come on, Nick. Ooh, look at that, you guys. 
Oh, there it is. Boom, that's a good four or five pounder on the 86. Gil. Yes. Boom. Let's get her in the live well. Some measurements, some photos. See how big she is. Yeah. Boom guys, five, five, eighteen. Five, five, thirteen. Five, thirteen. Five, fifteen, that's what we got. We're locking it in, five, fifteen guys. Boom, five pounder, yeah. Boom, six and a half pounds. My other one's six and a half pounds. Awesome, awesome day of fishing as you guys saw. Got like a four pounder on the Cinco. Um, then I got, a, I got a six pounder on the F1 bass, little baby glide bass right there. And then I got one on the 86 glide. So that's what I caught all my fish with today. But I quickly wanted to go over what I was doing as far as like the swim bait stuff. A lot of you guys are asking me like, hey Gus, you know, give us a little bit, a couple more tips on the swim bait stuff. So primarily I'm focusing on when the moon is, when the moon is setting and when the moon is rising. Um, this morning my Cinco fish came early in the morning on shallow rock piles near grass and then my swim bait bites one came on a windy point as you saw um, on that baby glide and that was like I'm pretty sure if I'm correct I'd have to go back and look but I'm pretty sure that was like right as the moon was starting to set I believe it was, I believe the moon was setting at around like 11 50 12 o'clock noon today so that was my bite window. I had about maybe an hour or two to try to focus on catching a couple giants, and that's what I did. Um, windy point, rock, and a lot of grass on that point, straight to a deep ledge right there. Um, that fish came up from the bottom. It had to have, and maybe like 20 feet or 15 feet of water, slammed it, boom, got it to the boat. With that particular catch, I was using my eight foot swim bait universe rod. So, I gotta correct myself, this is an eight footer, right? Uh, it's got an eight to one reel on it, DRT handle and knobs. Um, last time I did a video, I think it was my rat video, I said that this was a medium heavy. I stand corrected, I came to find out that it's actually a heavy, but it's got such a beautiful parabolic tip on this thing that it almost, to me it feels like a, a nice medium heavy. and. Uh, I, I really, 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 really love this rod since I got it. I, I really consider it my lucky rod, Swim Bay Universal. Thank you guys for dropping that one. Um, but I got it on this bait here. This is an FOM Baby Glide in a bass pattern. And all I was doing, oh, it's on 20 pound um, Sunline fluorocarbon. The way I was using this bait is, I'll throw it out there, it's a, it's a slow sink. So I'll count it down to where I think I want to get it. I'll just twitch it, glide it, twitch it, glide it. So the bait is actually, actually when I'm swimming it, my favorite way to swim this bait is it's slowly, it'll slowly glide and it's got a decent glide like that. But then when you twitch it, it'll go bum, 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 and it'll like, almost like 360 itself. And um, every time I've gotten bit on this bait, it always happens when I pop it really hard to give it that almost 360 turn. That's what I got that six pounder on. That was pretty sweet. And then my other rod that I was using today for my swim baits. Now this is our Okuma tournament series rod. It's a frog swim bait rod. It's a heavy, it's only a 7.3. Um, it's rated one, a quarter ounce up to two ounce bait. But I love, 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 love this rod and this setup. Obviously, as you can see, it's a Komodo 274. This is a 7.3 7 gear ratio. It's got a 100 size DRT and knobs. 
Um, I love this setup for these light glides. I mean, this rod is super parabolic, like, like super parabolic, see? And I really, really, really love that it's that parabolic for these, these thinner glides, these lighter glides, because those treble hooks aren't that big, you guys, as you can see, you know what I mean? And the last thing you want to do is pull them on that heavy rod and just yank them right out of the mouth. I feel like that parabolic rod on this tournament series concept, Okuma reel, I mean, um, rod, it really keeps them pinned. So every time they go to pull on me, it just gives them anything they want. And then, and it doesn't cut, they don't come off and they don't really come off. Um, I also use it for rat fishing every now and then, depending on how the, the rat bite is. Um, but yeah, so that's what I was using. This is an 86 glide. Uh, I believe this is the male gill pattern. Um, it's actually my first time catching a fish on it and it was a five pounder so I'm pretty stoked it's got like little rubber fins on it and stuff but this bait you can work it very methodically slow I mean it just goes like this like but when you twitch it it'll go -coo -coo. if you twitch it twice it'll go -coo -coo, and it'll go way out and then and then it'll want to come back in so it doesn't just like go out it'll like go out and then swim in like super slow and they freaking hammer this thing, man. You know what I mean? I've had luck with the other 86 bait glides that he has that I have. I have, a, I have quite a few of them. Um, and I always have really good luck. But that five pounder um, is my biggest that I've caught so far on those 86 baits. So anyways, 20 pound floral carbon. Again, uh, Komodo 273, 7, 3 gear ratio, 1 100 size handle and DRT working class zero knobs and that's what gets the job done. I love 20 pound pretty much for everything. I love it for rats. I love it for small glides. The only time I'll probably go higher than that is like on my big, you know, my big hog hunters, my big hoods, uh, big baits like that, big glides obviously, Romans and whatnot. Uh, anything, anything lighter than that, believe it or not, sometimes I'll go down to like 17. 15 very rare that i'll go down to 15 i'm always pretty much 100 percent 20 pound guy i mean when they're gonna eat these baits they're gonna eat them guys so i hope you guys enjoyed that video thanks for watching don't forget comment subscribe down below and those were some giants tomorrow's my birthday and i got a tournament i doubt they're gonna catch fish because i got a lot of them today but i really don't give a crap because it was sweet catching them on the big baits it always is and one on the worm so Go subscribe, comment, like below. Let me know what's up, guys. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.